Hello and welcome everybody, it's Crypto Rosetta. my name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at Bitcoin before we jump into the price action. I'd just like to say thank you for watching, if you're enjoying the content please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and leave us some feedback down below. Also in the description you'll find a link to the Discord, come check it out, it's free to join. Okay, so we've had a big sell-off here and basically what we need to talk about is we were talking about that possibility of still getting that one two three to the upside or either that one abc pattern to the upside that has now invalidated because we've taken this low here um we were talking for a while that this could be the high and um you know that now we've got two ways of looking at this move so either we are looking for a corrective structure which is potentially going to come and find support within this box area here of this 20,757. We've actually just come into that zone already to the 17,104. This doesn't mean that it's just going to reverse from here. We need to be aware of that. So this would be that, um, that so this would be that 382 area. Um, this would be the 50%, 618, 702, and then 786 at the lower range of this. So this is what I'm keeping an eye out within this structure. You know, if we start to break down deeper here, you know, potentially this 19610 um, is quite an interesting area in regards to this previous channel that we were within, as well as that 618 um, retracement. So keep an eye on that level if we do move back down into this area. Uh, but now, so there's two ways that we can look at this. Either we're going to be looking at this as a potential correction, looking to move down here, and then we're going to look for that continuation up. Or alternatively, this could be an A wave. We could then look for a B wave could look for a C wave to the downside. The alternative to that is that this whole move here is it's actually extending out into being a bigger five wave structure. And we talked about that within the previous video. Um, and we we're talking about the fact we could see something like this as a one, two, one, two, one, two. And then we're going to start to see this breaking down deeper here. Um, so this is this is um, still viable and we're going to go over that count. So like I said, you know, the, currently what I'm looking at is whether this move here is corrective or not because there is some overlap towards the top end of this move but if we break it down and it does extend out then it would still fit a good impulsive structure so i'm going to go over the corrective count that we were following first um and this is basically where we were looking at this as a a a b and a c so this is still viable and um you know potentially if we're looking for we've already come down the, to this 1382 of this wave a so this would also be an interesting zone here this two uh twenty thousand two hundred and thirty three dollars would be a 1.618 of this a wave so keep an eye on that um that area for potential for a reaction see here so twenty thousand two hundred and thirty four uh, zone. So if we do actually come down into this area, keep keep an eye out on it. Um, if it fails to follow the impulsive structure, then potentially we could actually look to complete there. So looking at this corrective wave within here, um, what I would be looking for would be, uh, let me just throw the extensions in. <clears throat> okay, so this does look a bit complicated, but we're going to go over it. So basically within this, what we would have is another one, two here and a one, two, and then basically one, two, three, four, five. So what we're looking for here, is actually a three wave move to the upside. And then potentially from the back, off the back of that, we will be looking for this as a five wave structure down. Sometimes when we are doing these extensions um, or when these extensions are happening, doing sub wave counting becomes very difficult because they can be extending within themselves. So this, these, these target zones are sort of rough I would be expecting to see a move up here for a fourth wave, but it might not move as high as this zone that we have here. Depending on how deep this three goes, you know, this this target range could uh, close. But what I'm looking for is a completion of this move here and then to see whether we move up in a three wave move. Um, potentially, it could even just come back up into this channel and, and retest it. It doesn't have to go all the way back up into this box. Uh, especially when moves are starting to extend, sometimes you'll get weaker moves to the, in the opposite direction. So what I'd be looking for is these additional fourth and fifth waves here, potentially off of the current area, this fourth wave would be this 21,429 to this 21,000 area. And that could be a retest of the channel, like I said, and then looking for this continuation. Current invalidation for these additional waves would be moving back above this 21,529 and then actually finally above this 22, 489 area. 
Um, for as long as we stay below these zones, we could continue to extend Archer and push deeper. So that's what I'm currently looking for within this. Um, I would be looking for a, a bit more of a substantial uh, fourth wave within this. I wouldn't like to say that that was it. Uh, I'd like to see at least a, a couple of bars uh, or at least a bar here for a fourth um, and then look for this additional fifth wave and then an additional fourth and a fifth. So this could push down deeper here, um, you know, and really it's hard to do this in the in uh, real time. So basically what we're looking for is two additional fourth and fifth waves here. So the key difference between these two methods that I'm currently, or the two options that I'm looking at is when um, this, move, this move here, so potentially if it does follow these fourths and fifths could push down towards this 20,000 zone, this 20,200 to this 1989, uh, 19,889 area. Um, so this could be a zone we could look for the C wave to complete. So if we do look at it as a corrective move, basically what we'd want to see from there would be a reaction to the upside. And basically we'd want to see a move back up here. Just want to check that this box is correct from this lower point here. Okay, so let me move this over here. Let's get rid of this. This is one from earlier on. Um, so this would be a zone that potentially we could look to actually move back into uh, if this does complete as just a corrective move as an A, a B, and a C. Technically speaking, it could actually just be a completed correction as an A, B, C pattern, um, but it would be more probable just because of how long, uh, how, how big this move is that, you know, this could potentially become a bit longer or a bit bigger here where we get uh, some some continuation. So what I'd be looking for, if we do complete into the zone, potentially come down and retest this channel at this 19573, if it does extend out deeper here, potentially, um, you know, what I'd be looking for would be that potential to actually see this as an A wave, come back up for a B wave, and then actually look to push down deeper for that C wave. And then that could potentially look to push deeper down in this, um, into these support zones here towards this 18.572 to this 18.275 region. So that's what I'm looking out for if we're looking at it as a correction. But like I said, we need to be a little bit careful because within these structures here and the fact that we could be looking for a fifth wave down here, you know, we need to be careful of looking at, um, at this sort of extending out and becoming a bigger impulse. So the way that I'm looking at that would be effectively this wave count would still be valid. We'd still be looking for these fourths and fifths to play out to the downside here. But then once these continue, instead of this move actually coming back up and sort of uh, looking to retrace deeper into the support zone here, what we'd be looking for would be a shallower retracement and then actually continuation. So what I would be looking for with that, <clears throat> yes, excuse me, basically I'm actually going to turn off that extension because that's going to just make it too busy. Uh, so effectively that target zone that we were looking for was here for this fifth wave to potentially complete, which would be towards this 20,200 uh, 20, 20, to this 18889 zone. And then from there, what we'd be looking on the lookout for is, so on that, on that other option of the correction, we'd be looking for deeper move to the upside, potentially back up into this higher zone here. If, however, we, we complete those subwave structures and then we only get a shallower move to the upside here towards this 21,939 to this 20,920, then potentially what, and if it was in three wave structure, what we could then see is basically additional, um, additional moves here where this becomes a one, two, this all becomes a third wave. This, that, so this whole move down here from this point here would all become part of this green third wave here. And then effectively we would get a fourth and a fifth to the downside again. And then if we're going to break this um, subwave structure up like this, then potentially in the top here, we would have another one, two and another one, two there as well. So, you know, effectively what this could mean is this could then um, set up this chain so that we actually end up pushing down um, even further here with additional fourths and fifths. So if we do get this fourth wave play out after those sub waves um, finish out playing out, you know, potentially what we could then get 
is this series of additional forts which should target out similar sort of zones so once this one's formed that can be a sort of area to watch out for for this next one although sometimes these will not move as high as these um, zones that i have indicated here especially um, when we're getting extensions within the wave sometimes they will form shorter but effectively if they did have to form um, in the way that i've got it marked here so Basically, this would be this fourth wave target area, this 21,899 to this, uh, to this 20,594 20, zone. Then we'd be looking for that fifth wave down, potentially down to this 19,100 to this 1847. Um, and then we'd be looking for this potential additional fourth and fifth wave, which could look to push us down towards that uh, $18,000 area to this 18,545. Like I said, you know, this is just working extensions off of FIB uh, relationships, but sometimes these don't work out exactly the same as within a, a impulse that isn't extending. So we'd have to just wait for the confirmation of the biggest structures. So like I was saying, you know, so if we're looking for this fourth wave, this green fourth wave to play out, we'd be looking at this green wave two up here. And looking for something similar in size to match up with it. If we do move down here to this six one this one six one eight line, like I said, at this twenty thousand three hundred thirty three, or towards this um, lower box end, or even potentially towards this channel line here. Um, if we then just we just move down like this, and then we come back up here and we actually cross this area of this wave one, this twenty thousand seven hundred twenty two. We would have to then just treat this as um as a corrective move because then it would invalidate um it would invalidate this additional one and two. The only other way it could still be valid as an impulse, but it would be very bearish, would be that this whole move here then becomes a one and a two, and then you would still have all these additional ones and twos which need to play out at a later date, and this would be extending in a much bigger way. But um for the most part, I'd like to see these actually play out within the wave count now. And uh, if if we do get a move down towards this zone, like I said, uh, this fourth wave area, this uh, 21,937 to this 20,920 is going to be a key zone for us um, seeing whether we do have additional extensions here. If we get a three wave move up here and then continue to break down in a five wave structure, then effectively what I'd be looking for would be this, um, this bigger corrective move down here potentially towards this zone uh, of this 18,544 to this 18,056 range. So, I mean, we can, we can just throw this on here just as a, so some key zones could be this uh, 3618, this 19,806, this 18,524, uh, 21, and then at an extreme case, this uh, 17,320. I don't think it would go that low, but we, we'll have to see how things progress. But that's what I'd be looking out for within this um, within this current structure. If we are actually extending out, like this, uh, the next the next um, the next target would be this 3618 here at this 19,806. So if we do continue to push down here, potentially we could see that reaction off of here. Um, and then we'll have to see whether we get that additional fourth and a fifth down. If we do get additional fourths and fifths, potentially we could even look to push as low as that uh, 4618 area at that 18,521. <laughs> and then from, from the completion of this, basically then what we'd be looking for, um, if we've got this as a five wave structure, it wouldn't, and it is this deep, it wouldn't really fit into um, the idea of having this as a, um, as a correction anymore um what i would then be looking for would be that potential to actually come back up into this zone of this 23600 to this 21535 so that low range is actually quite an interesting one because it would be potentially a retest of the support zone here that we were sitting above um and if we do actually see a three wave move into there it could be the um signal for the next part of this leg to the downside but yeah, I mean, it's hard to do these in real time when we're getting extensions. So just bear this in mind, you know, we can still look for this to this uh, internal wave count of the third wave to still push down deeper here. And then, you know, we'd still be looking for that possibility of this bigger fourth. So we need to just um, give it a bit of space here. This 1618, like I said, you know, this this uh, line of this 20,000. 
333. That's going to be a key area if this is a correction where this is an A, a B, and then we're looking at this as a C wave. Um, if it reverses from there and we actually come and we take this wave one high or wave one low rather and take out this top here of this wave two uh, at 24,000, effectively it would invalidate any further extension um, with this being a one, two, three, four, five, and then that would take out these these additional waves that we have here, this yellow and the teal, um, the teal move that we have here. So this is this is what we're looking at. Um, like I said, it's very difficult to to do this in real time when we're getting these extensions. Um, this is our support box. If we start to lose the 17,104 area, if this does continue to extend um, to the downside here and, you know, potentially, I mean, I'm counting it like that now, but, you know, this in itself could become a one, two, if we push down deep enough, become a three, four, five. And then basically we have another one, two, three, four, five like this, and then another one, two, or five like this and then actually what we've done is we've taken this low already so you need to just keep an eye on it um we'll, we'll try to keep you up to date as we get more information within the wave counts but really uh when it's extending like this we can look at these sort of fib areas and sort of draw the relationships between the way between the waves but um you know it's very difficult to count these sub waves within this because of the fact that there is that extension Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and leave us some feedback down below. Also in the description, you'll find a link to Discord. Come check it out. <coughs> it's free to join. Um, as well as that, we have affiliate links for Primex BT and Bybit within the description. Check them out. Uh, great exchanges we use on a regular basis. If you don't have an account using the affiliate link, does help support the channel and we do appreciate it. Everyone have a great evening and we'll see you in the next one. Take care out there.